This week on Nation, we are going to be talking about everything. So stick around, see what happens. Watch Nation this week. What's going on, everybody? Jersey here from WCR Nation. Thank you so much for checking us out. I hope you are going to dig this week's episode. Uh, if you're new, go back and watch everything you can. We're at like episode 91. You got a lot to catch up on. We're doing some of them better than others, all of them better than a cat video. Most cat videos. Go back and check them out either way. Um, if you are one of the elite, one of the cool kids, what's going on? It is because of you that I get to have real marshmallows in my cereal every morning. So thank you very, very much. And if you want to be one of the cool kids, all you need to do is place your orders through me. <clears throat> uh, window cleaning resource rep, my number direct, 862-312-2026. Go do it now. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Jersey WCR Nation. And yes. So this week, we're going to do something a little bit different. And I am joined by... None other than Mr. Lamborghinis. What's going on, man? Oh, hey. Hey. So just so you know, Chris thought he was on uh, camera the whole time, but the way that this records is that anybody who's talking, you see. So you just saw me this whole time, and now it's like this big shock that you're here. So you can see me? People I could see they, they could see you, yes. We may do some editing on you. You're, you're looking a little rough like you. I feel a little rough, man. <laughs> So right, this is your show. This is it. You're, you're officially on nation. This is like out of 90 episodes in two years. This may be the second time you did an episode. It's more than I planned on doing. I know. I know. Uh, it's taken me 91 episodes to get you back on the show. So yeah. I appreciate you doing the show. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when we started this, you said that you're going to be on every quarter. That was, if you do the show, I'll be on, I'll be your guest every single quarter. Show me where that was agreed upon. Yeah, I think it was verbal, I think. <laughs> verbal agreements are legit. I know, but I didn't record it. I, I didn't know. How did we have the conversation? Was it the boxer? Phone? I think it was just over the FaceTime probably. I don't remember. Now I got to go back and look. But... This out. I will give you the public verbal commitment to be on quarterly. Ooh, this is the new, this is the new Chris. Now we just did a shoot the poo just a few minutes ago. Which went splendidly. I had people texting me telling me that it was awesome, which I I, I don't believe. I, I think maybe you have a bunch of fake numbers and you texted, but is splendidly a word? Uh sure. Sure it could be. It could be. <laughs> it's not something you may use in your daily life, but splendidly is we'll we'll say yes. I, I'm I'm known for not using words that are actual words sometimes. Probably my I don't like the name of that shoot the poo. No, we'll, we'll change it. You like that uh, slider you made for me though, that, that, not slider, but that Facebook cover. Yeah, that was, that was Justin. That was none of, none of my, uh, he's the brains. I'm sure you gave him some direction though. Yeah, I said put shoot the poo on there and they <laughs> he did the rest. So I don't want to take all the credit, but it was pretty much me. I'm working on several Facebook covers right now, all featuring your face. Oh, there you go. That's going to be rough. That may uh, lose you some. No, no, you're a handsome guy. No, you might might lose some subscribers there on that, but. No. No. But so normally on uh, uh, normally on on shoot the poo, it's me and Alex talking about a work related subject. We didn't talk work related. We talked about like aliens and uh, the difference between Bigfoot, uh, Yeti, and uh, a Sasquatch. Yeah. Did we? Is that so? Wait, is that all the same thing? We never really. I want to say it's. I think it's the same thing. Like, it's different regions, but I'm pretty sure. Like, Bigfoot is, Bigfoot. like, the abominable snowman is a Yeti, right? I think so. I don't know. I mean. Got to get, uh, get somebody that knows. T. Squeegee. He does know a lot about stuff about Bigfoot. He's got a Bigfoot moment in, like, every episode. I think he is a, uh, I think he's, like, not even a, a closeted one, but I think he's actually part of some kind of organization. I do believe he's gone on expeditions looking for proof at, at times. So he's probably the most expert of any of the people that we have. What does your gut tell you about Bigfoot? Oh, I don't know. There's so much like vastness to it. And it's weird that it has been 
seen, but it's also super weird that you haven't found it. But uh, there's not really a time when anybody's really found a bear skeleton in the woods either, because the way that that is, as soon as they die, like other animals chew on their bones, you know, like rodents do. If you ever found, it's hard to find even deer antlers, and those aren't even the same. So I could see that that you know, with a smaller uh, subset of these things, maybe. I default to believing in all conspiracy theories. Yeah. I to believe any conspiracy theory before I would not believe one, you know? Like, what's the wackiest, yeah, what's the wackiest, uh, you know, the, the one that you could, you could think other people would think is the wackiest one that you, that you think is credible? Wackiest? Uh, I don't know. The most far out there one. Uh, well, we were just talking about you know, on the other show, the shoot the thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Talking about the, the Alex Jones being on the Joe Rogan, and they were talking about like interdimensional communication through like things and like the government taking DMT to communicate with aliens and stuff like that. I, I totally believe that. See, there That's you go. Sure. Yeah, I just I I believe them all. I'll default to believe. <laughs> you know, saying goodbye to somebody. No, no, I figured so. Busy, busy man. So, are you uh, you a flat earther then? Is that is that what I'm getting at? No, that's silly. Okay, <laughs> that just seems silly. <laughs> I believe everything. Flat Earth? No, those people are morons. Yeah, there's actually people in 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 the pressure washing and window cleaning world that are flat earthers, and uh, I know I just them all up because I want to see what they're into. This so ludicrous that I mean, it doesn't even make sense. Like a lot of the the, the reason that. Um, conspiracies become conspiracies because some part of it makes sense you're like oh that does make sense why you know why was uh you know there are no pictures of this or that but that one is just like people are like well how do you know because astronauts have been there and they've seen it no that's not true that's the government why would the that's government curve, that's a curvature of the camera <laughs> yeah yeah so we uh k and i just uh watched uh bed the other night on netflix because we're sort of between shows uh this new flat earth documentary that they put out and it was like kind of like almost making fun of the people it was like uh, it was like this this dude that's like the main dude in charge of the flat earth community and he like had this conference this like flat earth conference and convention and then there's this other dude who thinks he's like really the king of the flat earthers so you see this guy just releasing these crazy video clips all the time like talking about this other guy (laughs) during the documentary these like all these different like flat earth people like try all these different things to like try to like show the validity of their theory and they try to do these like scientific experiments and they just all fail. Like they just can't even get the experiments together. <laughs> and, and like, sometimes they'll, they'll like reverse prove their theory and the people, and then they like, like work really hard to like dispute the evidence that they just found. It's very strange stuff. Uh, I, I, so like, why, like, why would, like, why would the government hide that from you? It just seems so dumb. But how would you, with planes being in the sky all the time, and you can fly from continent to continent and back to the other continent. You can fly around the world. How is this like, I, I just still don't get like how they think the end is just the end. It, it's very weird. Oh man, that's weird stuff. I think what something happened is somebody like brought it up one time, kind of semi as a joke. And somebody went, wow, that's really, that could be. And then it kind of like sort of caught wind. But I mean, it's people have. One thing. Oh, hey, we're on a podcast. Come on over. My house address? Ooh, gonna believe, <laughs> gonna believe that one out. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, it, it's very weird when um, you've heard of, uh, uh, co- uh, gosh, dissidents. What is it called? Cognitive, Cognitive dissidents. dissidents. That's got to be like, I, I just don't get it. Where, where you are believe one thing so hard that any proof given to you is not accepted as proof. And I feel like that's it. Like, hey, Neil Armstrong, you've been in space. Is Earth flat? No, I don't believe you. You're working for the government. Okay, well, here's some pictures. I don't believe it. It's Photoshop. So this Very one weird. thing those flat earthers say that seems to make sense. 
is they say like, you know, for like every, you know, 5,000 feet or whatever, there's supposed to be like X amount of curvature. So then they do the math and they say, all right, well, this building is like, like 50 miles away, but you could like zoom in real hard and see it with like the telescope, but then yeah. see it. Like, it's not like disappearing over the curve. I don't know. It seems like, it seems like it makes sense, but I don't know. Well, as, as giant as the earth is, yeah, well, as giant as the earth is, I just can't see there being like s- that so much curve. It's like people who go up in planes and they bring a level with them and they go, see, we're flying straight. No, or, people don't do that, do they? Yes, there's videos on it. Yeah. Into a plane? Well, obviously, yeah. that's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Oh, yeah, they all are. They all are, yeah. It's like, uh, how is the water, have you ever seen the tennis ball one too? They like pour water in the tennis ball, they're like, see? The water falls off. The tennis ball does not have its own gravitational field. <laughs> I have seen that one. <laughs> well, well, how come how come nothing else in in the world does that then like the Earth does? Because nothing else has a gravitational pull or force. Yeah, it's it's very it's very odd. It, but stuff like that sometimes when people believe, like say water fed is not good, right? People think that uh, like there's a guy that said that uh, DI was a scam. No matter what you tell them, they have it in their brain already, and anything you tell them is just proven in their brains to be fake. So it's very hard to convince people of stuff. So, But that's where I think conspiracy theories are so interesting is because people think one thing, and then when you start bringing to light other bits of those kind of things, it, uh, it opens the people's eyes. Yeah, I don't know why I uh, have that setting in my brain where I immediately default to believing them, and then... <laughs> Then like try to have to like disprove it to myself. Because it's the opposite of the norm. You're you're just you're still the uh the like skater kid that's just gotta not conform. I don't know. Like it all started around uh like nine eleven, I think. Like it didn't sit right with me. Like what the yeah. I mean. And then it just me that like is what spiraled me into conspiracy theories, I think. There's a huge thing on YouTube, like the, the wormhole, is once you watch one thing, YouTube like picks your algorithms, like, oh, this guy likes conspiracy, and then everything is sh- shot to you, and uh, you can really get super crazy at one point, and all of a sudden you're believing in flat earth and dinosaurs aren't real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kate was like saying, she was, I don't know, it was a couple months ago, she was like, so what's going on with you? What, what's new? I was like, oh, I don't know what's <laughs> She's like, well, come on, tell me what's new. Let's talk about something. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm into now. And then finally I said, you want to know what I'm into? Just go over to Apple TV, go to the YouTube app. Well, look at my watch history. You can tell exactly what I'm into now. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's funny uh, with you uh, is that there are some, when you're into something, you're into it hard. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's fun. Remember that time I thought the world was going to end? Yeah, yeah, I know. There's, yeah. there's been a couple uh, – interesting ones where uh you're on the kick of living forever for a while and then oh i'm still on that i'm trying to eat. i'm trying to be like really well not forever maybe like i don't know it'd be cool to live like 150 years but i just read this book and this other guy's trying to live for like 180 years and he's really trying to like do all this crazy stuff that i would want to do so you know what the and, I think, thing like, is- and then i think like all right yeah i'm gonna live to 150 but then i'm gonna feel like horrible that all my, I have to watch all my family members die because I know they're not going to get on board eating the weird stuff I'm eating. Yeah. Maybe I don't want to live forever. Maybe life's too long. At, a, at 100 years old, do you really want to live another 50 years? Like, you have to be super decrepit at that point. Well, not if, like, I'm doing a bunch of proper stuff and, like, because you figure when, you, when you're, like, 100, like, you could just do whatever. You could take steroids. You could <laughs> take human growth hormone. Like, who cares? You're 100. Yeah. Most people are dead. Like, yeah, I don't take steroids now, but like, if you're 100, well, if you're 75, why not? Right, that's why not the, you I don't know. Point. I've never tried everything, it, but I would if I was like, set, when I'm 75, I'm going to start doing steroids. I think that's that. I think you should. Thing. You should just be the most ripped, like 80 year old. That'd Dude, be Sylvester awesome. Stallone. I was just watching a video of him rolling these gigantic blocks. That guy's all juiced up. See, there you go. There's like steroids have something to do. With, I can't remember. It's like something to do with horses. So it was eventually, it was made to make horses be able to pull more. And then people were like, oh, I should take that. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the thing. Like these, you know, everything starts as something. And then somebody else, somebody in history at one point was like, I think I want to do that. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, like, look at all like like drugs. Like, like who's gonna think to smoke a frog or something like that? <laughs> yeah. No. That's crazy. Yeah. If you lick this frog, you actually get high. Like somebody at one point looked at a frog and was like, "Like, how many other animals did this guy lick before he realized the frog got him high?" I mean, did that all happen at some point? It's like the first person who ate a ate a lobster. You had to be really hungry, so maybe the guy just really wanted to be high. Exactly. Somebody smashed apart a lobster, probably. I don't know. <laughs> hey, there's some goo in here. I should eat this. Yeah. When was the last time you had a lobster? Oh, I I've had a lot. I've had lobster maybe twice in my whole life. I'm not like a what super fan of lobster. I I don't. It does nothing for me really. If it was like five dollars a pound, I might eat it more. Like, cause it's like shrimp, it's good, but it's not like so amazing. Like, I can buy melted butter, you know, and just drink that. I don't need to put lobster in it. I saw Thad out in Branson. We went to Joe's Crab Shack, and uh, he was, of course, like being real food snobby. Like, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Gigantic crab legs. They were so good. They were so good. We sat there for like two hours, just like ordering more crabs and more crabs. And this is right there, so we we could be eating oh, yeah. crab in like a couple months. It's like 150 feet from the hotel. Nice. I heard, if you're talking about conspiracy theories, I heard Thad Ekoff is actually two midgets in a trench coat. Like, really? I heard that one. That, that from a lot of different people, so. I've seen him naked. I can confirm that's not true. Oh, uh, okay. See, I, I had heard that Al, uh, Phil Alexander was actually the bottom uh, in oh. the uh, – and that there was just a, a little or fat on top bottom of somebody else you know i really love that phil he's just so bad at spamming he's uh yeah his his favorite so so here's the thing sometimes people like to push buttons and they see that it pushes buttons and they go harder because it's enjoyable to them i feel like that's phil you think that's I what he's like, doing i don't think 100 percent. he knows that it drives you guys crazy so he spams he spams all the groups he spams the outlaws you go watch a outlaw video and they're like ah oh, how's your day Bill's like, ah, I got a simple 17 going with us. And then they're like, okay, well, you know, what's your favorite kind of sandwich, Phil? Well, if I could eat a sandwich off of a simple seven, I would. And that's, that's how he is. So maybe he just, it, he just enjoys it. Really? I don't, I don't think it's an intentional thing. I think it's like, a, like an illness. Like he just can't help himself. But he makes a damn yeah. fine water fed pole. If I, every time I see Phil, I give him a hug. He's saying he's mad about Phil. Can I say that Phil's adorable? I call him Monkey Phil because he's just every time you see him, he like he makes you smile because he is just so happy, so passionate. Like nothing, you could walk up there and kick him in the junk, and he'd still be like, ah, simple, and he'd still be happy about it. Like it's just nothing can bring that guy down, even people who yell at him for spamming. But but I feel like I feel like it almost upsets you that the new simple is so good because he's oh, just upset me. It makes me happy for him. But and they finally uh, hit one on the park. Itself. It's really nice. It's like, yes. It's like a Cadillac. A Cadillac. We, when we set that. Tesla. Yeah, when he brought it actually to show last year, huge convention, he brought it and we set it up and we're like, man, th- like playing with it was like unbelievable almost. That it was a sim pole. Like it was so good. And it was like, <clears throat> and, and Phil's had good stuff in the past. You know, it's been a little maybe sporadic, but. This one, he just really just knocked it out of the park, so. It's cool. Yeah, we're, we said they're kind of expensive. We've sold a few, maybe five, six. Something. Yeah. You have them in stock. I like Phil. It was more yeah. of a professional courtesy to Phil to buy it and put it here just because he's been working at it so hard. Phil, Phil is the guy, though, too, that he's put everything of his life into the simple. Like, I wish him nothing but success because it really – I mean, he is – there's other guys that kind of do it. Nah, you know, they kind of like put – but he's put everything into I, – I feel like he took a 401K and dumped every dime he had and he's making a go at it or something. You know, that's, that's the vibe I get. So, yeah, that's, uh, it's probably close to true. Yeah. Hopefully it does really well. If you want to buy a simple, call me. You guys know my number, 862 I always have to throw in like cheesy plugs. I find that – I find that – Let's encourage everybody. Mm-hmm to text and call Josh constantly, <laughs> constantly for all your needs. Of course you would go to him first for your supplies for anybody. Before you even think of going to windowcleaner.com, 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 you would think to call 
three months for you? <laughs> Hey, you want to know something? Uh, congratulations on uh, the new site, by the way. A lot of people have uh, really, you know, uh, dug it. There's been a few hiccups with little things here and there with, you know, getting all that straightened up. And some people maybe weren't able to log in, but I think we got all that kind of taken care of. And this, the new site is is so clean. The pictures are just absolutely amazing. You know, Gina and the other crew there have been doing that, taking pictures in the studio there. And it's pretty awesome. I'm actually thinking of taking the website down because it kind of makes me mad when the website makes a sale. Like I just prefer everybody to enter their orders. I have Josh enter them for. Uh, like I, I'm, a, I'm the same, but. You don't need to use the website. You could just do <clears throat> what you want. It's silly to log into a website, log into your account, click around when you could just say, you could just, everyone should just have their credit card on file with Josh. And mm, I, I agree. Josh. Josh, just send me what I need, bro. Just text. My That's what happens. I... Way of people placing orders just through Josh. I can't stress that enough. Uh, that's you know, I'm okay with the fact that you have uh, taken 91 episodes to be on it because you're just you're hitting it out of the park this time. So I, I completely agree. But <laughs> I'm gonna go on record and say, compelling <clears throat> episode so far that I've seen. So far, I've seen them all. I've seen so them all. far. <laughs> What's uh just for f a fun time for all of us? What's one title of one of our shows that I've done in ninety one episodes? You suck. Ooh, that was actually one. Okay, okay. Crap, I should have asked for two. I uh, <laughs> should have asked for two titles. But uh, all great stuff. I love it. So, yeah, yeah. It's up there with uh, all my favorites, but it's, it's yeah. on top of the favorites. Joe Rogan oh. and Nation's very close. I bet. Right. I don't really like Joe Rogan that much. No? Oh, nice. I, you know what actually is, is kind of cool with a podcast? When you make uh, material and you put it out there, it's out there forever. <clears throat> so some guys are finding this. I, I don't know SEO or they're searching or whatever. They find it. I had a guy in um, – oh, gosh, now I forget what, what he's in. He just uh, found it one day in the morning as he was getting ready and spent 10 hours that day listening to episodes. He went through 20 episodes of Nation in one day. Like just found it, and they binge it. It's very, very cool. That, That's uh, great. Yeah, I dig it. So, who's been your favorite guest so far on the show? Mm, other than you, uh, yeah, yeah. Other than you, I, uh, man, I don't know. I have fun with a lot of them. Like I don't do guests as much as I probably should, but uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun with a lot of guys. We had Fluff uh, on there, Steve, all the creators, of course, and uh, Latimer was on there. Uh, he was good. Uh, actually, I really thought that, um, uh, coach Carol was a really good one. And that was our most, we got more complaints on that episode than we have on every other episode that we've ever produced combined. I saw the comments, you yeah. know, I guess they complained and he cursed a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of emails on that one too. If this is how you're going to run your show, then I'm not watching anymore and that kind of thing. Yeah. And it was very amazing to me that that many people were offended by it, but uh, there was no warning that uh, it was coming out there because I was not aware of the the swearing. But uh, I didn't know that would probably mostly phony outrage. Uh, probably, you know, if you don't like I, it, I, listen. I couldn't imagine going to the going to the trouble of sending in a complaint about such a thing. No, it's it, it is amazing, and and uh, uh, I don't know that we've lost anybody from it. We've actually grown a lot with that. So. I don't know, but it's very interesting. I always, I always like that. I always make a note too. Every time I say something that I, I think people are going to complain about, I always say, okay, this is what you're going to write your emails about. But uh, we don't get a lot of complaints. People are usually pretty all right. Yeah. I don't get too much hate. I like Which I Seems like he's going to be. <clears throat> that guy. He is super smart. Now, here's the other thing. If you yeah. listen to Gary Vee, Gary Vee swears all the time. So there are people who just don't quite care as much as some other people. Um, and, you know, maybe that's it. But uh, he reminds me a lot of him. He's a very kind of on top of it kind of guy. And uh, he's also into real estate. I would love to be into real estate. That's one of my, my things that I will do someday before I turn to be 150 years old uh, is get into real estate. So he's very interesting. Yeah. You should try to have uh, Donald Trump on. I, I tried. You reached out to him. I tried, but uh, he wanted to. He wanted to do it at like eight eight thirty in the morning, and I'm like, listen, I record after ten, and he just couldn't make it work, and so we were gonna have him on, but uh, yeah, um, yeah. 
So, real estate, huh? You can do real estate someday. Someday, it's it's the dream, you know. Real estate would be fun as much as it would suck at the same what time. What kind of real estate? Uh, commer- uh not commercial, but uh, multi, you know, uh, multi um, family units. Some, you know, a uh, small apartment building or a couple apartment buildings. You know, kind of get that, uh, you know, reinvesting where you get some, uh, uh, you know, cash flow uh, coming in. You know, passive income is is a good thing no matter where you get it from. Can I interest you in an abandoned deli in? <laughs> I forgot you own that. Yes, that's uh, my super awesome real estate investing skills, like my abandoned deli, my condo in Vermont that is way underwater and uh, I don't ever go to. You know, it's one of those things that I I, I probably will pick up a couple of things from you, but I might not learn 100% of. You should ask me a lot of questions and then just do the exact opposite. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Hey, I got this uh, abandoned building here. I was gonna buy. Oh, you're, you're gonna start raising ghosts? No, no, I'm I'm just gonna buy it. Oh, okay. Spent some developments on the building. Uh, oh. Apparently, the community is complaining because it's, really, <laughs> it's really abandoned looking. It's really. Alex is part owner in it. Alex has to drive by it every day. It's like on the outside of the neighborhood he lives in. So. He's like petrified. Anybody in the neighborhood is going to find out that he's just <laughs> that property. So my, my buddy, Dave, my, he's like used to work for me at all County. And he's my landscaper. Now he's got a good landscaping company. I've given him free rent on the parcel for the next three years. And he has to cut down all the trees for me and just like make sure there's not a lot of junk around in exchange. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I just have the tax expense. Nice. Seems like well, maybe that'll be worth something. I don't know. Hmm. Well, there you go. I got this friend that's a real estate agent. I said, hey, I want to sell this. She said, all right, I'll get in touch with you. And then she never got in touch with me. Because she saw it. <laughs> she saw it. She's like, yeah, no, no I'm not going to do that. <laughs> well, big, you know, real estate only goes up in value uh, <clears throat> the land-wise, but then you got to tear the, the place down. And yeah, it's uh, maybe you can make a haunted house there or something at some point. It's scary. There's all sorts of black mold in it. And uh, I went in it once um, just to like look at stuff. And I thought about maybe like taking the Coke machine out and like, you know, the deli case cooler and like putting it in my house. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, So there's probably raccoons living in it or something. Yeah, I'm not worried about the raccoons. I'm worried about the black mold because the ceiling has collapsed. (laughs) (laughs) If anybody out there is uh, looking at um, uh, investing in real estate, contact Chris. He's got, he's got a great investment. It is a, a diamond in the rough. I have a copious um, amount of horrible properties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's, that's good. See, 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 so maybe I will never invest in real estate. Maybe I'll learn my lesson through you. I like that. I'll, uh, Can I interest you in any, taking over the mortgage <laughs> on any of these things? <laughs> Gosh, you know, I would, but I got a thing with a guy and I'm trying to stick a little closer down here and those are all up there and, you know, it just wouldn't work out. Probably doing it all wrong. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, we'll see if I can free up some capital for those, but we'll, we'll see. Hey we'll man, see. so the stickers behind you, I see you have like a Steve-O sticker I, I, and a Fluff Daddy sticker. Like, how'd you get those? Uh, from Steve-O and Fluff Daddy. I got zero stickers from them. Zero. Yeah. They have yeah. stickers. I have yeah. the Joe on and I have the Luke one and a couple of those I made. But I don't have the Steve O one and the Fluff Daddy one. Yo guys, what's up, man? How can we help? Just saying. I like stickers. Just saying. I, I think you have some clout with those guys. If you just call them and say, Hey, I would like some stickers, I think they'd be on their way to you. Like on the phone? Well, not the phone. You don't use a phone, but can I text? yeah, you could probably text. Facebook Messenger. Voxer. Do some Voxer. Actually, uh, before you got in on the shoot the poo, we were going to do it with Alex and Alex had the, uh, Luke riding a bear with a flag shirt on. Yeah. 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 Luke sent us some uh, hoodies and t-shirts. Uh, that's a- you know, what would be absolutely, I think it still would be absolutely amazing for WCR to have apparel. apparel. I would even get it all. Uh, I, I would run that end of things. You know how many people have emailed about these sweatshirts and said, hey, where can I get them? 
So what you're saying is this is something I can add to the list of exclusive things. Yeah, yeah. Handles. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll create the Shopify and everything, and then uh, people can choose whatever. We have Justin, one of the greatest graphic designers. We could have awesome stuff. Why would we create a Shopify when we could just put it on our own website? Or better yet than that, why would we put it on the website where people could just call or text you? To order? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But instead of holding stock, there's uh, companies, and I, I got all the stuff. I forgot what it's called. Not Shopify, but... Uh, yeah, and you could bet at one of the pages and they create everything. So we could have backpacks and sandals and anything anybody wanted with any of the logos and WCR stuff. That's how you create fans. By selling them things? Well, then they can, they can, it could be part of their culture is the WCR stuff, you know? Keep talking. I'll be right back. Yeah. But anyway, so this episode of Nation is completely off the cuff, as you guys have heard. We'll be back to our normal structure next week but chris wanted to be on and uh this is what we're talking about so if you haven't listened to nation uh we usually are a little different we're a little bit more business focused but uh gotta throw one of these in there Snickers, check these out. Ooh, no, so- I got <laughs> no these so- all the doors in the place so no one ever stops in there's nothing worse than a social visit yeah the sign on our door literally says no social visits and uh you know what everybody thinks it uh, it doesn't doesn't apply to them, but it does. It applies to everybody. So I have a doubt. If, if I know uh, people, you people. putting a you yeah. putting a sign up, they'll hundred percent read it. Well, like why I'm like that's why they're really really big, and like I'm gonna put it on the handles of the door uh-huh. and like on the glass. And, yeah, and then people that drive, they spent like an hour driving there to to go talk to you guys. They show up and they look at the sign and they go, oh shoot. Well, all right, I guess I'm driving back home. You know it's not going to help. We're going to have to lock the doors. You're going to have to lock the doors. You have to. You just have to start getting like a a, a PO box for all the returns, so then people don't know the address. No, we wouldn't want to do that. This is not a, uh, it's not a retail <laughs> outlet, though. We're not set up for such a thing. This is an office. No, I know. It is. I, I feel like people when they show up, they're a little bit disappointed. Like it's. They yeah, it's a just it's a bunch of like uh, autonomous desks in the front with all the staff that, you know, a lot of people don't know how many people that work there. But your office there has got what seven, seven people, including the back end people and yeah. something like that. So they're gonna show up and they're gonna see a lot of people they don't know. A lot of people. Yeah, a lot of uh, behind the scenes people, and then they're they're confused because they don't see Luke's not there or or. Uh, you know, Fluff Daddy isn't standing at a desk somewhere, and it's just... That would be so cool if they all, like, moved here. Terrible. Wouldn't it? Too bad you live in an awful place, uh, and the weather is horrible there. If I ever complained to you about our weather? Yes, a couple times. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. pretty awful, especially since you don't snowboard anymore. All the snow kind of sucks when you don't get to go play in it. <sighs> That's true. It's true. I came uh, home from work the other day, and... My kids were outside throwing snowballs at each other, and I was so happy. I was so happy to see them out playing in the snow instead of sitting in the house, like yeah, trying to play with gadgets and annoying people. Dad, Dad, look, I got this new app called Snowball Fight. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, dude, I bet you they've had more app snowball fights than real snowball fights. Oh, like, I, I bet. Like they, they, some of the games they play are so stupid. Like there's this one where they just give people haircuts. I hear it all the time. It's like, <laughs> it's just like this. You're just, you're just shaving people's heads. Yeah. It's so stupid. <laughs> uh, my girls had one that was a cookie factory or something, and they would make a batch of cookies. So they would like click and drag like the flour into a bowl, and then they would stir the bowl. And then like they would put these cookies on a tray, and they would make fake cookies. Like it, it would take Stoke five. What, yeah, what? what? And then they go, and they eat them. I'm like, this is the best part about cookies is like eating the cookies. And you're, it's just very weird. I, I said to him, I said, if you're, if they're watching YouTube, which is the new TV, by the way, for kids, but I'm like, okay, watch something educational. Cause there's a lot of, I mean, amazing stuff. We live in a technological era. You can learn anything. You could be, learn to be an astronaut in like six months, you know? So they started watching some t- makeup tutorial. I said, turn it off. I said, you had to learn something. And they're like, we are. We're learning about makeup. 
That's a, that's oh. not that's not a learning thing. I'm talking about like math all they, or something. All they need to learn about makeup is that they shouldn't wear it anytime soon. Yeah, they're they're not. Uh, I have two girls. If anybody is uh, watching, and uh, why have we ever talked about that? No, no, two girls is crazy. I do. Um, yeah, no. Uh, they YouTube's off. Like Neil great Neil Tyson DeGrassi, right? Bill Nye, like all those guys have like tons of YouTube stuff out there where you can like learn in a fun way and they don't care. It's Bill like Nye. kids almost know they're learning. Sorry, they? I don't like that guy. Bill Nye? Yeah, he's always talking about that fake climate change stuff. Like, he's, oh. <laughs> he stinks. Stupid scientists and their fake stuff they talk about. <laughs> Bill Nye is not a scientist. Well, no, not technically. I don't. Maybe he is. I don't know. I you shouldn't know. be making procl- proclamations like that. The internet's going to fact check me. I like that. <laughs> There's going to be a new website that's going to, I'll fact check this episode, but uh, I actually like him because he, uh, like sometimes people, they do uh, reading tweets and he'll, people say stuff and he'd be like, no, you're an idiot. That's, that's not a thing. Next one. Like he's very straightforward. I like that. Wait, Bill Nye says that or Neil deGrasse? Yeah. Right? No, Bill, Bill Nye. Hold on. I got to get, let me Google this. He's, 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 uh, he's Bill I don't know what qualifies you as a scientist. That's not like a degree. You know, like, oh, you got a PhD in scientistness. He's a mechanical engineer. He's not a scientist. Got it. Liar. I do like that, uh, that Neil deGrasse Tyson guy. I like when he talks about spin. He makes it seem really cool. He makes yeah. science seem really like fun and cool. And like, he's super passionate. Captivating. Captain. Yeah. Yes, I like that he's a little bit of a nerd too, you know. Like I like that. Like he's one of the 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 top nerds, you know. I kind of dig that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was uh, he mentioned something on this show the other day, and do you know there's like a like a Stonehenge in New York City, but not really like a Stonehenge. It's like you know, like Stonehenge, like the see like like sun coming through with certain things there's one yeah. of those in new york city it's like only happens like once per year and the sun sets diag sets perfectly between these two gigantic buildings i think that's coming mm. up i'm gonna go see that super mm. interesting. yeah and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send you the literature on that maybe you want to come no up. you should i'll send you I'll, a, uh, a link. yeah i'll make the trip and we'll go we'll go look at your uh, abandoned uh, deli and yeah we'll we'll make a trip of it yeah yeah you can maybe help me wash my roof. Your ghost, uh, your go. Oh, that's right. You do need a roof wash. Yeah. I, need, I know a thing or two. Uh, I, uh, I was thinking of buying one of those uh, zeros, zero soft washing kits. Yeah, roof washing kit. On that. I know a guy. It might be helpful to have that. Because I'm so in the woods, like everything is like, always like getting dark. I need to like just bleach the crap out of everything around me. Yeah. See, that's why you need to, you need to either have that or you need to live in a super subdivision like me where there's not even trees bigger than like, you know, 12 feet yet. So I don't like subdivisions. We don't get shade. Okay. Just like, here's what I picture you driving in your subdivision, like neighbors waving at you and like small talk. Oh, you're kind of hell. Barking dogs. Social visits all the time. Just people dropping off pies and casseroles and. Oh. And just talking about the weather, uh, it's great. Yeah. I'm, one of my neighbors showed up at my house this Christmas to drop off a food cake, and I had never met her before. She, like, only speaks German, so she couldn't, I didn't really understand what she was doing or how she got to my house. She was eating <laughs> food cake, and I was in my underwear. My wife just left, and I would normally defer to her, and I didn't know why I even answered the door. I <laughs> it an emergency, but, like, she got all the way on my property, so I figured I should answer the door, and I was very uncomfortable. Yeah. It would have been awesome, her I little said, German lady holding a pie, and you're standing in your underwear, like, hey. Was I was cool. standing in my underwear, boxer briefs. Nice. Well, uh, you live a little bit farther, so you don't get people stopping at your house because your driveway is, uh, you know, a couple city blocks. One away. time someone drove down my driveway and I was like flipping out about it for like two weeks, like looking at the security cameras trying to see why they were driving down my driveway. Then I was thinking I was going to get those, you know, those things you can put up in the, like, 
the spikes strips spike strips yeah, yeah i want to get those yeah it's like a garage door opener so then when you leave or you come back you just hit the button and they lower down into the ground yeah, 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 yeah. it's totally a thing until someone sues you for damaging their tires or something dumb could i get sued for damaging somebody's tires if they drove it's around? america they could sue you for anything yeah yeah it's worth it though i mean i got some signs that said trespassers will be shot it was actually hard to find those things <laughs> really like, like if i have guns should i not have signs indicating I'll shoot? because i'm really not going to shoot somebody right 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 people are scared and not come on my property so no, like, the problem, the conflict to have a sign that says trespassers will be shot on site and actual guns is that like a thing you know I, I think the problem would happen is if somebody did try to like home invade you or something and you did shoot and then they would like the judge would look at it and be like you had signs so you've been planning this for a while this is the <laughs> related sign i have the nice see if anybody doesn't know chris he's just a friendly guy he just he really he uses up all of his friendliness at uh, the huge convention, and then he spends an entire year building it back up so he can make it another convention. I'm super friendly. Can you tell? Totally. Yeah. No. With all those signs and things, those are friendly signs. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, man. Well, th- thanks for spending some time and and doing the uh, podcast with me today. I, I really really appreciate it. This is. Uh, this is probably yeah. the top tier podcast we've we've ever done. So it's done. That's it. <clears throat> I mean, you know, it, we've been going for a while, but it could, you know, it could go longer. I just. Has it uh, been thirty minutes? Oh yeah, it's been uh, like forty, I think. No. All right then. I guess we should be done. That was really fun, and I hope everyone found it enlightening. And uh, I'm really glad that I got it on uh, camera that you are going to be doing one of these every single quarter with me. So that's pretty awesome. It's every four years. <laughs> All right. Well, we didn't, we, didn't, uh, we didn't specify if it was a monthly quarter or uh, it could be a weekly quarter, like, you know, every three weeks. Wow. Every four weeks, you know. But quarter of the millennium. You know, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll try another 90 episodes or so. We'll get you back on. All right. So don't forget, people. Don't come to our fancy new website. Don't. I beg you. I hate it when I see orders come through our website. And I just think these people are so ridiculous buying on a website and they could just text Josh. They should just, they, I, I, you know, hey, listen, I want everybody to be a fan of me and uh, let me be their rep. And I would definitely appreciate that. And if you want to be, one of my clients, one of my cool kids, somebody who buys all your supplies through me, my number direct is 862-312-2026. And yes, that is a cell phone. Text me, call me, smoke signals, whatever. Want to email me? It's jersey at windowcleaner.com. Be a cool kid. Buy your supplies through me. And, uh, you know, Chris is really picking a push for it. And I just want to make him happy. So if No website. Do not come to our website. It's shiny. It's appealing. But it's like eating candy. It's no good for you. Go, just call Josh. Call Josh. Thank you, Josh. He's always there for you. That's right. If you are also uh, watching this on YouTube, comment down below. Tell us what you thought of this uh, little bit of a different episode. Make sure to thumbs up the video because that is like a virtual high five for me. And follow me on Instagram. It's Jersey WCR Nation on Instagram. And uh, sometimes there's cool things there, or at least things that are better than other things. So do it. Be awesome. And until next week, go out there and be epic.